Hi again, guys. Hello. Sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> um, so, as I predicted, all the little doggies left and they are currently awaiting um, dinner with dad, I think. Oh, well, here's Rukia. Oh, hi, Silu. Oh, hi, Ruk. Say hi, everyone. Oh, say hello. Oh, everybody's naked today because it's a little warm out. Oh, here comes the crowd. Here they come. So we're in my studio today. I managed to, um, first of all, I've been really, really sick. So I slept all this week. I only got up for maybe a couple hours <laughs> at a time and then literally slept the entire day. Um, and then today, yesterday I kind of got up a little bit and then today I got up and cleaned all of the glitter from all over my house. So, um, I'm still finding little pieces of glitter everywhere, however, <laughs> and I'm not showing you guys the other side of my studio because it is still a ridiculous mess. It is taking me so long to recover from fashion week. Um, so yes, <laughs> glitter for life. Um, my husband was laughingly um, telling some of the other designers before my show started that a glitter bomb went off in our house because it really did. My garage is full of glitter. Um, the outdoor um, mat coming into our house is full of glitter. His car is still full of glitter. <laughs> it was everywhere. But I have a funny story. I'll share that probably on my blog later. Um, cause I don't want, I don't want to ramble on too much today, but I have a funny story about how I got glitter on the dress I wore, um, a Saturday night for our show. Um, and you know what, actually if you guys have any questions about glitter, I am now the glitter aficionado. I'm not kidding. So I glittered all of the dog's clothes and the, the gold, yes, gold glitter. Yes, gold. <laughs> it, just for our show. I love all glitter, but it was gold for, for our show. Um, I glittered all of the shoes that the models wore. So all of those shoes that you um, saw or will see in the upcoming pictures and videos, I glittered all of those shoes myself. Those were like $5 on sale Rue 21 shoes. And I got them all in model sizes and glittered the crap out of them. <laughs> and then I glittered the dog's dresses, I glittered the leashes, I glittered um, some of our shirts in the back. I don't know if you guys saw any of that. But the least successful glittering was my dress. Anyway, I'll tell you guys that story later. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it, it's kind of a funny one. Okay, so the purpose of today is um, I haven't done a Periscope in so long and I really, really want to get back to it because I really miss you guys. Um, and I especially wanted to do a quick little recap of Fashion Week San Diego, which um, our runway show was this last Saturday. Fashion Week was all last week. I missed some of the events, unfortunately, because I was so sick. Um, and, but I, I went Friday and obviously our show was Saturday and then our trunk show was on Sunday. So we have tons of pictures to share. Um, but I really, really, it's so important to me. I, um, and I wrote it down. I have a long list of people that I really, really, especially want to thank. It's so important to me, um, because our show went off without a hitch. It was absolute perfection. I couldn't have asked for a better show. Um, and it's because of these people. So without further ado, I know this is going to be kind of boring for you guys for a little bit, but just bear with me because it's super important that I, I thank everybody. So, um, first up, I really want to, um, he already knows that I'm super thankful for him, but I really, really want to thank my husband, um, Bo because for more reasons than one, but oh my gosh, you guys, throughout this entire year, I have probably driven him crazy. Um, I've overspent, I've spent so much money for Fashion Week. 
Um, but he, more than anything, even though I feel like, you know, sometimes he doesn't understand where I'm coming from, um, he was such a support. Even the day of the show, he was putting on my shoes for me because my dress was so long and it was white and every time I bent down, it was getting on the ground. So he even put my high heels on for me before the show. Um, and our anniversary is actually this weekend, um, so just want to give a shout out to my boo bear. <laughs> Thanks, hon. Thanks for for bearing with me. I really appreciate it. He's seen the ugly side of me this year. <laughs> very, very, very ugly, stressed out Heather. So, um, thanks, you guys. Thank you. Um, okay, second person I really want to thank is my mom. Um, obviously, <sighs> moms are usually pretty supportive with stuff like this. My mom definitely was. Um, and she, I really want to thank her for instilling so much creativity, um, into, well, I, I think I would have been creative regardless, but she really, really encouraged it. And she is creative herself. Even this year we live, you know, miles and miles apart, but she used to sew in the seventies. She sewed her own stuff. So I was able to kind of rely on her and get some tips from her and mom, I really appreciate you. And if nothing else, I got to vent to her. <laughs> she knows me better than anybody else. Um, equally appreciative of my sisters this year. I have two uh, younger sisters, and one of them is actually in Japan. And I think, I don't think she knows how much she supported me this year. Um, even like now and then, she kind of sent me, you know, a few bucks here and there, which I socked right back into the show. And, um, I, I can't tell my sisters, Tiara and Michelle, how much I appreciated them this year. And I got to see them this summer for the first time in like four years. Um, and just seeing them was really, really helpful and supportive. So thanks guys. Thank you. Uh, next up, I have to, of course, oh, I have to, I have to thank Chloe Bisou and Gooey. Oh, Chloe Bisou especially because She's the one that is the inspiration for all this. Um, without her, I would have never done this. Gooey because he was so good at the show. I was very, very worried because out in public he gets kind of, um, kind of clingy. And uh, I was very concerned about him walking with another model and he did so wonderful. He loved his model and his model was gorgeous. Um, which brings me to, um, well, actually, no, I'll wait until later to say that. Um, yeah, yay, forgive me. <laughs> um, okay, so the, the next three people that I really, really, really want to especially thank, and this is over the span of the entire year, but I have to really thank, um, Molly's Potique, um, Molly and her mommy have done such an amazing job supporting us and providing us with really, really cute bow ties to go with our outfits this year. And the bow tie that you see on Kingston the Pug, um, the blue with like the polka dot blue outfit, that bow tie is Molly's Patique. So I'll make sure to take that for you guys um, when I post those pictures on Instagram awesome bow ties. So thank you so much, Molly's Patik. Uh, going on with more bow ties, we of course have to thank Curly Tail Ties too and Woof Wellington. So once again, throughout the course of the year, I've really relied on Molly's Patik and Curly Tail Ties um, just because I don't have the time. Um, I'm doing so much. I really don't have the time to make um, really, really great bow ties and they already do it so well. So, um, curly tail ties provided the hot pink bow tie that you see on Max's outfit. And I'll be sure to take that as well. Um, when we post those pictures on Instagram and dazzles with Darla, spanky and Darla. I, over the course of the year, have really gotten to know them and their mommy and, um, Oh, I can't tell you how much. I totally, totally, 100% appreciate everything she did. All of those necklaces on the runway were 100% made by her. Maybe with the exception of like one or two, um, but they're gorgeous. 
absolutely gorgeous. And I basically just kind of threw this project at her and said, all right, here are our fabrics. Have fun with it. And she sent me all of those necklaces and I was just completely blown away. So I will be wearing those all throughout the year. Um, and I can't thank you enough. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Spanky, darling Elizabeth. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, okay. Of course, I have to thank Allison Andrews of Fashion Week San Diego. Um, the main reason why I'm thanking her, um, is because she is a so supportive of all the designers when you talk to her she has the nicest things and is so encouraging and inspiring for all of the designers uh, but specifically she gave me a chance with dog wear and um, you know kind of uh, made me realize that maybe I had some talent um, when I didn't even realize it myself so thank you Allison for being um, such a great leader Thank you. Allison Andrews is the founder of Fashion Week San Diego, by the way, um, and she's gorgeous. She's a gorgeous little baby. Uh, if you haven't seen her pictures on Instagram already, you totally should look her up, Allison Andrews, or just on Fashion Week San Diego, um, their Instagram page. Her and her baby were dressed um, matching for Fashion Week, and it was adorable. Loved it. Uh, also, to go along with that, I really wanted to especially thank the Fashion Week San Diego crew, um, everybody involved, backstage, um, front of house, um, Sam, Samantha, um, everybody. It was like a collective effort, and I know that they help all of the designers, but I feel like they had, we all had kind of an extra thing managing the dogs and getting the mo the models and the dogs together. And um, being backstage, I was so nervous and I was so concerned about the dogs and they were the kindest people I've ever met. And they, they got stuff done too. You know, when you said something like, hey, you know, that doesn't look right or we need to do this. They're like, all right, let's do this. So, um, really, really excellent team at Fashion Week San Diego this year. So, thank you so much, Fashion Week. Everybody involved, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, dog models and parents. I don't know what I did. <laughs> it like almost chokes me up a little bit. I don't know what I did to deserve such a great group of people. When I saw the dogs, I was really, really concerned. I was super nervous about the dogs going down the runway because the runway was so long, you guys. When I first saw the runway Friday night, I was like, oh my God, that's going to be so long for the dogs. And they did wonderfully. Those dogs, every single one of them, and the dog parents are like some of the best, best people in the entire world. So I'm going to thank each one of you individually <laughs> and I know for everybody else this is going to be super boring but like I said it's super important that I thank you guys. So first up thank you Nadia, Josh and Kingston the Pug. They drove down from LA for the day and had to drive back up and still made it, never complained, were super super sweet. Thank you so much you guys. <laughs> Erica and Emma, Emma the Frenchie. Um, over the course of this um, experience, I've gotten to know Erica a little bit. She's been with us through every single event and oh, absolute sweetheart. Love them both. So thank you so much, Erica and Emma. Thank you. Um, Jenna and Nella Sue. <laughs> Nella was our token um, mini dachshund on the runway. And um, of course, I love Jenna. I've known Jenna for um, probably what a year now um, and absolutely adore her cutest little um, mom and pup uh, pair ever so thank you Jenna and Nella thank you Kathleen Candia and Lulu again like for these little out-of-towners um, Kathleen brought Coco and Lulu all the way from San Francisco just for the weekend 
um, and once again didn't complain about the long drive totally supported us Kathleen also I have to say um, thank you to for being one of our biggest supporters she really helped us with our Kickstarter she is one of the first people to ever buy one of our dresses she bought my dresses back when they were like complete shit <laughs> know what the hell I was doing. I mean, I kind of knew what I was doing, but yeah, things are so much better now. <laughs> so thank you, Kathleen, for really believing in me and for being a really, really good true friend. Um, Jean and Cricket. Cricket the Boston Terrier. Oh, she's, Cricket is such a badass and I always like, especially for the runway, this runway, I put her in like the most glittery, like girly thing you could ever imagine. <laughs> and she's so beautiful. So I promised her, um, Jean Cricket, if you're here, I promised them that I would make um, Cricket something a little more badass next time. Like some cute little pleather skirt or something. Oh my gosh! Hi! Hi guys! Hello! <laughs> you you deserve something a little more badass. I'll um, I'll get my little creative juices going and get, get some cute little badass outfit for you. Um, okay, Jan and Sir Ruffles are... Um, a little token poodle on the runway. Oh, and Jan is such a sweetheart too. Once again, super supportive. She does actually a lot of really great charitable stuff here in San Diego. Um, so to have her with me and um, with us and supporting us really meant the world. And oh, Sir Ruffles was so cute. Everybody melted over Sir Ruffles. <laughs> um, Tanya and Ferdinand. Ferdinand the Frenchie. So every picture that I saw of Ferdinand was the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like it melted my heart. It looked like he was smiling. And I know people saw that on Instagram too. I, I totally saw it. He has like this humongous smile. He absolutely melted my heart. Such a cutie. So thank you so much, Tanya and Ferdinand. Thank you. Um, and last but not least, Lindsay and Max. Max the bug. Um, Max is a Boston Terrier and pug mix. And I think, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he's brindle. So he kind of looks black, um, like a black pug, but he's a brindle. And he is an absolute sweetheart. Oh, love him so much. Such a sweetheart. Um, so I cannot wait. I have a ton of pictures. I also have, I purchased an official video, like a professional video of the runway show. So once I get all of that, I'll um, be sure to post all of that. But I, I have a ton of pictures to post of him and, and all of the um, doggy models. Um, so think my lucky stars. I don't know. I, it's like the stars aligned to make um, this group of dog models so perfect. And, um, I don't know. I don't know if it'll ever be that perfect again. It probably will be, but for right now, that'll be probably the most memorable thing about this experience is that um, the dogs were so good. And to go along with that, um, I have to especially give props and thanks to the Fashion Week San Diego models. The human models, they were so sweet coming down the runway. Like every single one of them accommodated the, the dogs. Um, I think one of the gals actually got down with little Kingston and like, you know, they were like reassuring to the dogs guided the dogs like they needed to be guided. Oh, so wonderful. And they looked really pretty in my outfits, I must say, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I actually, I hadn't even meant, um, oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh, oh my God. Are you guys reading that? Oh, stop. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you very, very much. Um, my nose is running because I'm still kind of sick and you guys are making me, my eyes a little weepy. So hold on one second here, let me grab my 
I need to grab um, a little <laughs> bag. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how much I enjoyed working with you, um, Jean and Cricket. Oh, which reminds me, is Cricket is Cricket's eye okay? Is it better? I hope it wasn't my glitter <laughs> that got in her eye. All better? Okay, good. Okay, so let's see, who else do I need to, oh, okay. So here I left actually um, two of the most important ones um, at the end. I especially have to thank all of our online friends, our Twitter friends, our Instagram friends, our Facebook friends, our Periscope friends, our Snapchat friends, Thank you so, 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 so much. There have been things, um, little things along the way that I don't even think some of you realize have really, really meant a lot to me. I had some dark moments this year. I had some really, really stressful, dark moments. And even just um, one nice little comment, uh, really, really meant the world to me. And a lot of you guys kind of let me vent a little bit. <laughs> um, I don't want to name a bunch of people specifically cause I don't want to forget anybody cause all of you guys meant so much to me. So thank you. And to go along with that Kickstarter, Kickstarter friends, thank you so, so much without you guys, without Kickstarter, I would have never ever ever been able to do this so thank you so so much I am dedicating pretty much this entire month to finishing up all of my Kickstarter orders so if you haven't received anything yet expect something in the mail very very soon um, it's gonna take me a little bit of time but I, I really want to make sure that that gets done for everybody because I appreciate you guys so so much Oh, here comes Chloe. Chloe, do you want to say hi? Oh, naked Chloe. Oh, she doesn't like kissing me. She's like, Mom, your breath smells. <laughs> she doesn't like, um, sometimes my lipstick smells like vanilla, and she loves that. So when it's a different lipstick, she's like, meh, I'll pass. <laughs> um, okay, so hopefully I didn't forget anybody. Those are all the people that I really, really wanted to thank. I'm acting like it's the Oscars or something, or the Emmys. <laughs> Can you imagine? The music would have already turned on <laughs> by now. They would have been pulling me off the stage by now if I really were winning an Oscar. Um, okay. So I wanted to talk. Um, I'm kind of retrospective and looking back on my experience as a whole. Um, and... I guess I'm kind of doing it for myself, but also to, to kind of let you guys know what my experience was like as well. Um, so I thought about what my favorite part of this experience was. And there, there were a couple of um, favorite parts. Definitely the, the best part about all of this was watching it all come together. I personally sewed all of those outfits, 20 outfits, and there was no way possible to get some of those fittings all together to like get the dogs with the models. And at one point I was like, oh my gosh, I just have way too many fabrics, way too many prints. It's going to be so Mod Podge. Um... And I just kind of kept going with it, but seeing it all come together down the runway and seeing the dog paired with the model and watching the dogs trot down the runway, because I was in the back, so I didn't really get to see much of my show, but I was in the back watching it on the, like the prompter they have in the back and watching the dogs uh, trot down the runway. Oh, nothing else in the world can explain how proud I was. So that was definitely my favorite part. The other um, thing that I kind of learned or was one of my favorite parts is that I actually um, learned that I can put my mind to something like this and actually do it. <laughs> it was such a daunting task. You know, at first I really was just going to put all of the models in um, black dresses 
like just plain black dresses and let the dogs kind of shine down the runway and uh, after kind of talking to Allison Andrews the founder of Fashion Week I was like no you know what I really want to challenge myself this year and I hired an intern to help me with it and she completely flaked out I hired another intern she completely flaked out so I did it all myself and that was um that was an experience an experience I'll never forget and probably one of my favorite parts realizing that you can do something that you didn't think you could do before um the most challenging part of thank you <laughs> thank you um the most challenging part of this experience I would have to say was time management a lot of times um, even with like the Kickstarter stuff in my mind you know things only take a certain amount of time the reality is things took way longer than I anticipated um, my body broke down quite a bit I ended up being sick quite a few times this year which was frustrating um, in reality you just cannot work seven days a week and get things done and that's what I wanted to do I wanted to get things done super quick and in my mind you know it only takes a few hours to do blah 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 that's not reality so um, that was definitely very challenging and something I plan to work on for the future the other really challenging part to me was that I felt like I kind of lost a little bit of who I was um, as far as, well, I guess it's important for me more than anything else to make sure that everybody feels important and appreciated. Um, you know, on Instagram, I always wanted to make sure that I was, um, responding to posts or even the fact that like, um, I wanted to make sure that my orders were getting out on time. And I completely dropped the ball on all of it, uh, which was disappointing for me. You know, I, I haven't responded a lot to our online friends um, or my Instagram comments. I um, ended up taking forever <laughs> with my orders. And somewhere along the way, I got so stressed out and kind of self-absorbed self that I felt like I forgot to make sure that um, I really appreciated people. So that's why, um, I don't know, I feel like now I'm kind of over overcompensating and really wanting to make sure that I thank people um, because along the way, um, people have meant so much more to me than, than they probably realize. So that's something that I hope to kind of get back to. Chloe and I, I hope we'll kind of get back to our blog and... Um, our kind of our social lives a little bit better I won't hopefully be glued to my sewing machine as much I'm, I'm you know trying to put some things in place where um, I can get some help or manufacturing or something to help us so what's next what's next what's next well the holidays are right around the corner <laughs> Um, so just to clarify, everything that we showed on the runway um, is actually a preview of what we're selling for spring of 2017. So it's not going directly for sale quite yet. I will do probably a pre-order at some point in time this month. Um, so that I get kind of an idea and you guys, you know, here's the thing, I have limited fabric. Um, so I need to get an idea, you know, you guys can pre-order and that way it won't sell out. Um, I, I'll have a better idea of how many people want a specific dress. I also have a ton of stuff that didn't make the runway that will be a, a part of the collection as well. Um, and also I kind of want to get a feel for whether or not people actually want the human clothes. If not, that's totally fine. I think I kind of did that for effect and I will definitely be wearing my own clothes on the blog. Um, but I think I'll just be sticking to the doggy clothes and selling those for right now. Um, 
I am, as I said, really concentrating on our Kickstarter orders. Um, so once again, I'm going to post this on our Kickstarter. So all of you guys um, who are still waiting for your Kickstarter orders will get those. I promise. I promise. I promise. Oh, um, I feel so bad about that. Oh, I can't even tell you guys. Um, and then I... I probably won't open our Etsy store again until the beginning of the year. Um, I Maybe this sounds kind of funny, but, um, well, thank you. Thank you, Ollie Pie. I appreciate it. Um, I probably will kind of, will operate kind of like a speakeasy. Do you guys know what a speakeasy is? Everybody knows what a speakeasy is, right? It's a bar or a place that's kind of secretive, but only it only exists for those people who know about it. So if you know about us and you want something or you see something on the blog, then contact me. Otherwise, we're not going to be posting to Etsy or putting anything up probably until January or February of next year. Um, we will probably do the holiday dresses this year, so I'll keep you guys posted on all of that. But otherwise, I think, like I said, we'll just kind of um, play it by ear and operate like a speakeasy. We'll be the little um, secretive, if you know about us, then you know about us. If not, then... Um, okay, what else? I feel like I'm forgetting something. <laughs> Hey, you guys want to see my boots? I have to show you guys my boots. Let's see if you can see my boots. Can you see them? Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So, um, you know how I love a good deal. Um, Zara. Those were like a hundred and um, twenty bucks at Zara, and I got them this summer just a few weeks ago for fifteen dollars. Can you believe it? Fifteen. Oh my gosh! Um, the summer's the best time to buy for fall. Even if it's last year's stuff, oh well. Uh, okay, any questions for me? I don't know, do I have... I have a few people. I have a few people left now that I've talked your ear off. <laughs> any questions for me? Is there anything you guys would like to know about what happened backstage of Fashion Week? I'll probably like post some funny little stories here and there um because there were funny little things that happened <laughs> of course there's always funny little things that happen um backstage I don't know did you did anybody watch oh bam bam oh my god oh bam bam how come I didn't see you on here well thank you for coming oh we bam bam you and I your mommy and I need to catch up. I want to hear about all of it. In fact, I, that's, you know what? Okay, I'm going to spend the next week. Oh, congratulations. Oh, I'm going to spend the next week or two going through everybody's Instagrams and catching up. Yes. Oh, congrats. Well, um, we'll catch up. I'll talk to you soon. Um, okay. So I think that's it for now. Um, Chloe and I will definitely, oh, I'll have an itchy nose. Oh, looked like I was picking my nose. I promise I wasn't picking my nose. <laughs> um, we will probably start our, oh yes, quick question. Go ahead, Ollie, Ollie Pie. We'll probably um, start our two C's with Bizu back up again. I don't know where all the little doggies went. They all like ditched out on me. <laughs> Rude. Like that's half the periscope is like showing them. Oh, something for Christmas Eve and New Year's. <gasps> yes, I remember. You know, um... Oh, don't worry about bombarding me. I, actually, the sooner the better because then I can, um... 
I have like kind of a spreadsheet starting. I already have quite a few orders um, on top of the Kickstarter orders. Uh, so I will definitely be in my studio anyway. So the sooner um, you can email me and let me know what you have in mind, the better. Because then I, I can kind of plan and... Um, do some time management. <laughs> um, but I also would really like to know, um, because for the holiday dresses, so last year we did the 12 days of holiday dresses. Um, this year I'm kind of rethinking about how I want to do that. Last year it was like, hey, the first 12 people that want something, um, you know, email me and after that that's it I still might do it that way so you guys are getting the the um, first information on this um, I still might do it that way but anybody else that wants something for New Year's let me know because I'm going up to LA and they have the most snazzy fantastic fabric up there. I've already um, kind of placed it out. So please, if you want anything, um, just let me know as soon as you can, whenever you get the chance. You're never ever bombarding me. Um, I'm happy to hear from you guys. And um, that way too, I have kind of an idea when I go up to LA. I know um, what to buy for. And actually, Olipi, I have some cute ideas for you. And especially now that this year I um, have little, I can do jackets, and we have some cute little velvet. Velvet's like totally in this year. Um, so yeah, we have some cute ideas. Some cute little ideas. <laughs> um, and of course I'm all about glitter. Now that I know how to shellac it on there and keep it on there, I'm all about glitter. Even for boys. So deal with it. <laughs> Kidding. Kind of. <laughs> um, okay, so yes, heck yes. I know somebody already actually. That's funny. Somebody's already requested that. <laughs> they were talking about it for after Fashion Week that um, they really wanted a Hugh Hefner robe. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. Um, okay guys, I have sufficiently talked your ear off. Um, hey, before I go, um, Ollie Pie, are you guys okay? Is the hurricane, I haven't really kept up on what's going on with the hurricane, but how, like, how's the weather? Did you guys get hit with it? Because I know you guys are pretty south. You guys are in Miami, aren't you? And I was thinking of, um, I really want to get in touch with, I haven't seen... Oh, okay, good. You didn't get anything? Okay, good. Um, I need to get back in touch with Humphrey. Humphrey the Pug, is he, him and his mommy just moved down to the Keys. And so I thought of them, too. I was like, oh, my gosh. You know, welcome to Florida. So I'm glad it kind of fizzled out. I'm glad. Okay, good. Oh, that's so good. Oh, good. Oh, my gosh. Phew. That's so good to hear. Good. I'm always so concerned when I hear little things happening with weather, especially in Florida. Okay, that's good. That that puts my little mind at ease. Okay, good. Okay, I promise I'm leaving now. <laughs> I will, um, I really, really want to do this Tuesdays with Bisu again. So we will be back this Tuesday at 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. And then otherwise, tomorrow, I am going to spam our Instagram with a ton of photos of all the models. So um, stay tuned for that. Thank you again, you guys, so much. Much, much love. Okay, yeah, keep in touch, Ollie Pie. Bye, you guys. Thank you again. Much love. Bye, guys.